guys, it's your girl Jennifer Danielle. Welcome to video three of my Carnival Horizon solo cruise. Today we are in the beautiful Aruba and spoiler alert, this is my favorite content. So be sure to stay tuned and we are gonna get into it now. Hey guys, so I am officially in Aruba. This is the first um, land stop of this cruise. And this is my first time booking a um, non-carnival excursion. I am actually going to Flamingo Beach, so I'm headed there now. I'm being told we have to take a water taxi, so we will be there in a minute. One of the great things about choosing to do this Renaissance Hotel excursion was that it was only about a 10 minute walk away from the cruise port. I spoke to the people at the Welcome Center and they gave me some great directions for how to get there. And you literally walk out and keep going to the right and you will eventually run into the hotel. We will get to see some more views of this a little bit later, but um, I did want to say this is my first time since I was solo actually venturing off in a city by myself. And I felt 100% safe all of the time. As you guys can see, there are plenty of people walking around. Um, I definitely watched my surroundings, but um, I did not feel unsafe one moment of making it to this excursion. Alright, so I managed to find the Renaissance Hotel and it actually has the Louis Vuitton store, Ralph Lauren, Cartier, all of the expensive um, places located into, uh, inside of it. And there's also a casino apparently. So this is directly across the street from the ship. So as you can see the carnival tail there, that's where the ship is. So not a bad walk, probably about 10 minutes once you go around. There's also a Gucci down here. So from my understanding, we actually have to take a water taxi so I'm about to go and get on that and I will be at Flamingo Beach in a moment. Okay, so from what I'm seeing, you definitely can get away with not doing an excursion in Aruba. So like I said, this Renaissance Hotel is right over here near everything. As you can see, there's a Starbucks, a casino here, um, all of the expensive stores, this little nice area that you can sit. I'm gonna give you guys some more views in a minute and show you. Look at the pool, guys. Super nice restaurant here. And we are making our way toward the Wind Creek Crystal Casino. So this is the water taxi we're about to get on to go over to the beach. So we are loading up and I'm gonna give you guys some views. I know you guys are dying to find out how I made this work with my cruise schedule, so here you go. I purchased my pass directly from the hotel website 
and the thing about it is they don't release the dates until a couple days before your event so I think I purchased my ticket maybe four days before we were actually set to go to Aruba and so with that I was able to purchase the pass for $125 the pass included transportation to and from the beach from the hotel as well as a meal and a drink and as you guys can see the views were impeccable and I absolutely think it was worth that $125 So we are off of the water taxi and as you can see here, you have the family beach here to the left and then the adult beach to the right, which is Flamingo Beach. So this is the sign that points to where each one is. Um, as you can see, the water is so beautiful here. I don't know what that is in it, <laughs> but um, yeah. Um, we're gonna actually head over to Flamingo Beach and see if we can see the flamingos first. So we'll be back in a minute. Oh my God, y'all. I just caught a glimpse and I'm getting so excited. I can hardly contain myself. Ooh, okay, let me calm down before I get up here. Wow. Look at them. Look at them. They're just chilling right there. You gotta get over here and get one in the background of a photo. In addition to the beautiful views of the flamingos, there are these hammocks that are kind of hidden on the flamingo beach side. And so once I saw these, I had to kick my feet up and sit in one, even though I was kind of scared I would turn it over. But I got some beautiful, beautiful photos, as you guys can see. There was just something about the flamingos that I didn't trust, so I refused to turn my back on them too long. And they were making weird noises, so this is as close as I got. It's always a running joke that I'm not really sold on these trips because I always have dope videos and footage. But the secret is a tripod and a Bluetooth phone remote. So this is me actually setting it up and getting videos. And I will screenshot the video to get any photos I want. And of course, I'm just holding the camera here, but yeah, it really is always me. I will link the tripod I use in the description below. So this is the family beach, which is called Iguana Beach. They did have a warning sign that you will see iguanas and that they won't hurt you, so please don't harm them. Um, with your resort pass, you actually receive a pass to eat and um, get one drink here. So this is where you would eat here in this little hut. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely beautiful out here in Aruba, so definitely add this to your list. This is, I'm not gonna try to pronounce it, but the restaurant here in Aruba at the resort, and you get a free drink and a meal. So, um, this is the menu, so you guys can see, and we will decide what we're ordering in a second. Freaking iguanas. 
They said these are vegetarian, so they eat around noon. So I guess somebody put the lettuce out here for them. Scary. This was the most amazing part of the trip right here. You guys, you have to see this. Okay, so you guys know me. My days typically start very early. So I woke up at five this morning, excited to be in Aruba. So of course, it was the afternoon and after lunch views and all of that fun, I actually decided to go back to the ship to take a nap. shower and possibly get back off and come out here and explore since we're actually not leaving this port till nine tonight um so i will see you guys in a second and let you know what i decide to do yeah so i definitely did not get back off the ship after my nap um, so I chose to stay on and just kind of spend the day watching movies, but I wanted you guys to see what the port actually looks like from your ship. So this is what Aruba looks like. So guys, surprisingly, this was my first time catching a show in the main dining room. I apparently have missed it every other cruise and I chose to keep it light for dinner and it was okay. It was just nothing special. It's always the dessert for me. Anything that requires me sticking my spoon in and you pouring something inside of it, I'm down. So this was good. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and come back next time where we will be seeing views from Bonaire, La Romana, and a full tour of the spa.